afternoon, Howard Wig, Think Tech Hawaii, Code Green. My guest this afternoon is the illustrious Tommy Silva, not just CEO, but CEO and El Presidente of <laughs> TNT Tinting. What in the world is TNT Tinting? That is, in this case, window film. When you have especially old-fashioned windows that are just single-pane glass, when the sun strikes that, 87% of the heat that strikes that glass comes into the interior. Not good. That's the type of thing we will be discussing. Tommy's staff puts window film on the interior of those windows and reflects in varying degrees the heat right back out and as we will see, you still have great visibility to the outdoors. So welcome, uh, Tommy. You and I go back longer than we would uh, care to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, Howard. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So why don't we start off with your introductory uh, slide here and show you and your big family here. Yeah, wow. that's, that's our staff. <laughs> um, we started back in 1982. And... Um, I mean, back at that time, I had no idea it would become what it has become. Uh, we have 32 employees full time, um, and and it's amazing. We branched out, you know, starting off in automotive tinting back in mm -hmm. the, the early 80s, and started doing some residential, and then um, the automatic transition was into commercial, where there's bigger glass mm -hmm. and energy savings capabilities. When the energy rate started climbing in the 90s and mm -hmm. 2000s, mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, so we need all those people to uh, do cars. We're, we're, we're the largest automotive uh, window tint application company in the country now since Whoa. 2013. Oh, wow. And we're mm. the top five uh, commercial residential installers in the country right now. Wow. And let me guess, you know, there's been all of this talk about minimum wage people, no yeah. benefits. Yeah. I would guess that those people are number one skilled. Yeah. Number two, they're very nicely paid. And yes. this is just a guess. They have health benefits and retirement benefits. Everything, 401k, yep, yep, yep. we just started a, a nice uh, safe harbor matching program too to in, in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. entice them to even save even more and we'll match that. Yeah. So yeah. it's become um, a real company. <laughs> so this is this is the type of company we need as a nation yes. to remain Take care to of our get employees. really strong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because this the, you're creating the middle class by doing yeah, this. We yeah, we have a lot of tenured employees. Um, Sean Steinhoff, who is our VP of Operations, just made 31 years Ooh. with the company. Our senior tech on the flat glass division that does the uh, hotels and uh, ins installation for residential. Mm -hmm. He just turned 30 years this month. My administrative director, Robin, has been with us uh, doing accounts receivable, payable HR stuff for 27 years. Um, we've got them all the way down 25, 20, 18. I mean, we've, had, wow, we've got this, uh, really long, long term employees, which really help us keep our consistency and quality. Absolutely. And, and, and uh, I happen to know that applying that film requires some skill and patience. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it can be very frustrating, mm -hmm. um, you know, especially at the level that we're at now, you know, doing cars, homes, buildings, the graphics and stuff that we do. Um, our customers expect the very best because of who we are and how long we've been around. It's mm -hmm. our, our 35th anniversary this oh, year. Oh my goodness. So we've been around 35 years and we've cultivated a customer base that expects that high mm -hmm. level quality. Mm -hmm. And you know, if there's just a little speck under the film, you know, we'll tear it off and do it over. And and they're like, what are you doing? Like, well, there's a little speck in there and it's not good enough, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and so it's it's to that point where the perfection, you know, we're, we're just keep raising the bar. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah along yeah. with that is the materials. The materials, as you know, um, have been just getting better and better and better every mm -hmm. three to five years. Mm -hmm. We get this new um, technology that gets uh, uh, introduced, and we're lucky enough to be in the place in our manufacturers' minds that you know they want to they want to deal with us because we're experienced and we have a good reputation mm -hmm. and we have a good customer base and whatever new products come out, we get the first whack at it, wow. and, and, and we also try to get it exclusive. Yeah, and then you probably, if I know you, you measure the results. Oh, yeah, too. we yeah. track yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 we yeah. definitely yeah. track everything. Mm -hmm. It's it's a really good uh, marketing tool to understand what works and what doesn't work, and 
spend more money online now before you know it was yellow pages back 20 years ago mm -hmm. so now we don't do yellow pages and now we're all over there you know web searches and google yeah, adwords yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. Hmm. well let's see how you began this sure is the, uh, <laughs> it's your, your little, a flashback your, down yourself. memory lane that, that's you i think yeah. <laughs> that is me that, that is me <laughs> back in 1980 for a company called at home auto glass tinny and, uh, you know, I look at this and I just laugh <laughs> because, well, for one, I weighed about 100 pounds. <laughs> and for two, um, you know, I have so, such strict, strict standards about our, if you can see the, you know, the last mm -hmm. picture of our, our staff is uniformed and we wear shoes and we have, you know, name mm -hmm. tags and uh, there's very organized shop and clean floors. Mm -hmm. And uh, back then, yeah, you can yeah. see that, that, that yeah. you know, shows, that's our shop floor we're standing on there, you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. epoxy coated yeah. shop floors. Yeah, you wouldn't need plates, you just put the food on the floor. Exactly, yeah. you know, it's that clean, we, we pressure wash it every Saturday we mop it every day. It's completely air conditioned, sealed off to be dust free, like a spray mm -hmm. boot when you paint your car. So that's that's where we are now. And you go back to that 1980s picture. We're, we're in slippers. <laughs> There's window film all over the ground. I mean, that was that's such a big no-no in our shop now, mm -hmm. just because it does, you know it looks terrible. Plus, it's a safety hazard. Yep. You know, you got water on the floor with slippery mylar. You know, <laughs> and it's a work comp claim waiting to happen. So, um, yeah, it, it just it's a really. I can really see how far we've come when I look at these old pictures of, of us, uh, you know, hand cutting everything for another thing. You know, we we don't hand cut anymore. Everything's computer cut. Ooh, yeah. You know, which, so which there's, there's a lot of film. Yeah, yeah, it saves in film and uh, mm -hmm. damage on cars. I mean, th those blades that we use in our hands there. Once the tip breaks and you don't know it broke, you're cutting glass. Ooh. You know, and to buy a back window on that old Mazda 626 back then when it was new mm -hmm. it was still you know over a thousand dollars to get it replaced. So. Um, it just got better and better, the technology of uh, plotters that we, we can cut automotive, as well as uh, thicker security films. Uh, mm -hmm. When we do homes and buildings, uh, we can use a plotter to cut security films out so that we don't have to cut with our hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it mm -hmm. just makes things better, cleaner, you know, the, 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 the variances are much smaller. Uh, the machine doesn't call in sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't ask for raises. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, so those machines are amazing, those plotters that uh, we've, uh, advanced into. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, let, let's start with some, some of your applications here. Sure. And, because uh, I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of these mm -hmm. uh, jobs here. Mm -hmm. If we could have the next uh, slide up. So, that, uh, that's that right, familiar. right around the corner. It's Harbor Square. Har ha Harbor Square has a lot of history. Yeah, to there's it, two yeah. towers, and we did mm -hmm. both of them. And it took about 20, almost 22 years to get that done. Mm -hmm. um, and every time I drove by that building, we would see clear windows, purple, you know, reflective silver, reflective bronze. We saw black windows. There was every type of window film on the market uh, yeah, on this building. And uh, it really degraded the value of the building when you yeah, look at it. It yeah. looked like an old apartment building. Uh, so we went in and we, we did a lot of board presentations and finally got to the point where um, the board agreed that for one, they needed energy savings mm -hmm. because they they didn't have individual metering in these units. So Ooh. it was a, a one bill for each tower and then they would just split it up on square mm -hmm. footage on for each square, of yeah. the, yeah. 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 Pro, Which pro is rata. very unjust. Yeah. It's unjust, yeah. 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 And, and so this helped everybody's bill be reduced. Um, I don't have the numbers with me, but I know it was about I think the ROI on this building was about under two years. I think it was 1.8 year ROI mm -hmm. uh, in just in energy savings alone. And then the benefit of the aesthetic mm -hmm. improvement, I mean, it looks like they replaced all the glass with expensive architectural glass. Mm -hmm. And all of their property values went up, you know, making the building look younger and, and more attractive. Um, that's just a bonus. Um, let, let me back up a little bit mm -hmm. and point out to our audience that Harbor Square is an iconic downtown residential unit with beautiful views of Honolulu Harbor. And way back in the old, oh, but it's so old that the glass is just plain old uh, commercial yeah, annealed. grade. It's annealed plate glass. Yeah. Right. So. And it would absorb or transfer a very high percentage of the 
sun's radiation. Oh, 87%. 87%, that's the standard number. Right. Um, and with that film, that was the Vista 28 4 mil, mm -hmm. uh, we put the 4 mil version on there to upgrade the glass from annealed uh, plate glass, you know, pre-code, mm -hmm. illegal now, um, to meet the safety glazing code by going mm -hmm. with the 4 mil mm -hmm. thickness. Uh, and then in, as far as the performance went, it's blocking 65% of the heat. Mm -hmm. uh, the total solar energy rejected is 65%, yeah. so it's a really high uh, amount with the uh, absorbed and re-radiated, you're at about 74 or so percent mm -hmm. energy being rejected back out. So it's a really uh, high performance film, um, lifetime warranty on material and labor mm -hmm. from the manufacturer. So we haven't seen these films fail. Um, they, they've been, we just did the, uh, Miley Sky Court. It was an outrigger property for a long time. We tinted it mm -hmm. back about 21 years ago. Aqua just bought that out and renovated it, and our film was still on there. It was kind of beat up from being 21 years old. It was still performing and working, but we went in and finally removed it and replaced it with the same Vista window mm -hmm. film again. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's about how long it'll last. I mean, 20, 25 years now yeah. with this technology. Well, let me back up just a minute sure. to the Harbor Court. Mm -hmm. So people were getting very, very hot yes. in this very nice building. Yeah. So they put up, this is back in the bad old days, all kinds of different window films. Mm -hmm. And some worked, some didn't work. Mm -hmm. They probably peeled. Turned you mentioned purple. purple. Mm -hmm. If you, some of our viewers will be around, have been around long enough to remember that uh, there were cars with these purple windows. Mm -hmm. What happened, it started out as a nice clear window film and it turned purple. So yeah. that's what was happening with Harbor Square. Right. So now it has a nice uniform look about Very it. Very nice. And that Kind of a gunmetal gray color. It's not yeah. too reflective either. It's a, it's a nice, nice look. Mm -hmm. It gives you daytime yeah. privacy so that you can uh, you know, open your drapes and enjoy your view mm -hmm. and not have your neighboring buildings looking right into you while you're walking around cooking dinner or whatever. So it really does provide a nice look without making it look like a commercial building. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's, um, let's move on to our, our next slide. Oh, and just for our viewers, the window film, again, rejects the sun's heat, makes the interior nice and cool. You can either not air condition or turn your air conditioning way, way down Yes. as yeah. a result of this. And you still have a clear view of the outdoors. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally, this, uh, this is the Hilton Hawaiian Village Rainbow Tower. Mm -hmm. um, this was the first project we did with the 4 mil Vista 28 because we got wind of this project because they were about to throw away all this glass. Um, they had a bid at the time, this is oh, 15, 18 years ago, that they were renovating the tower and they, they had to go in and replace the tracks for the sliding glass mm -hmm, doors mm -hmm. and the wheels because they're sitting right on the salt water so the, yep, the salt yep. content just corroded the tracks and froze the wheels up with rust. Ooh. So people couldn't open and close the doors very and, easily. And this, this is not an inexpensive no, project. No, that's a either. really high-end yeah, resort. Yeah, yeah. So they, they were looking at one, the first thing they were gonna do was replace the tracks and change the wheels but what happened was when they were permitting for all of their um, renovations, they found out that if they touch the track or the wheels, they have to bring the glass up to code. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's not the energy code, it's the... It's the safety, the gla uh, safety glazing code. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the windows on that building were, and still are, annealed plate glass sliding doors. So if they crack, they break in big shards instead of little pellets like tempered mm -hmm. glass has mm -hmm. to be now. So um, we heard about them, dump, try, uh, the, the process was they're gonna get rid of all that glass and put in clear tempered glass mm -hmm. for six million dollars, not get any energy savings, not get any UV protection, not get any glare reduction, mm -hmm. not get any more shadow resistance other than the tempered glass, which still breaks really easily. Um, I get no rebate and no energy savings. They, they would get nothing but mm -hmm. new glass to meet the code mm -hmm. and spend six million dollars. So we came in, heard about that, we presented them the Vista 28 4 mil, we showed them that we did an energy analysis for them which calculates the kilowatt demand reduction based on the savings. Mm -hmm. uh, we showed them um, all of the fade protection benefits as well as the shadow mm -hmm. resistancy. Mm -hmm. It met the safety glazing code, so they saved that five or six million dollars in glass replacement and the time and labor it would have taken. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. filling up the landfill with all of this broken glass mm -hmm. uh, is another issue. And we went in and that job, Back then, in about 17 years ago, the, the ROI was under two years as well, and they're still saving over $200,000 a year in energy 
um, just for the benefit of that film mm -hmm. being there. Now, for our audience's benefit, ROI is return, return on, on investment. investment. I.e., if that project costs, say, one million, he the first year's savings would have been about six hundred thousand. Yeah. So the next year, you're up to one point six yeah. million dollars savings. So in less than two years, mm -hmm. you have paid for the. Yeah. Installment, yeah. And it's not a million dollars, but I wish it was, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to, this is so fascinating, we need to speed up our slides, but before that, okay. we need to take a break. Think Tech Hawaii, Code Green, Howard Wig with Tommy Silva, President of TNT Tinting, back in a moment. to the game and it's gonna be great early arriving for a little tailgate i usually drink but won't be drinking today because i'm the designated driver and that's okay it's nice to be the guy that keeps his friends in line keeps them from drinking too much so we can have a great time a little responsibility can go a long way because it's all about having fun on game day i'm the guy you want to be i'm the guy saving money i'm the guy with the h2o and i'm the guy that says let's go Good afternoon again. Welcome back. Howard Wig, Code Green, Tommy Silva, TNT Tinting. We were, we're going to have to look at a lot more projects. I mean, you, you and I get lost in the, uh, the fascinating the details needs so much. But before we even do that, let me point out, when, when you're referring to four mills, you're referring to mill... Millimeters. Mil millimeters. Millimeters. Right. And four mils is pretty darn thick coating. Yeah. So that in addition to saving energy, it has a lot of safety implications to it. As Tommy was saying, it the shatter shattering glass is no longer capable of shattering. No, it's been held. It would be. It might crack, but it'll stay together. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be held together in one piece, and it won't fall out of the building, and mm -hmm. it'll stay intact. And that way, the glazer can come and take the whole piece of broken glass on and replace it instead of having a gaping hole on the building for yeah. days. And you, everybody out there has been reading about the fact that it looks like we're going to have another El Nino incident, and we remember that terrible weather we had. What was it, just two years ago, three Probably years ago? 2015, 2016. And it seemed like every other week another hurricane yeah. would come up from Mexico, mm -hmm. and we dodged every one of them. Yeah. But El Nino is associated with hurricanes. Hurricanes, when they hit a glass of high rises, mm, yeah. good to have some uh, safety glass. Yeah. And if it's safety older glass, film. it can be made into safety glass with. Uh, window film, but let, let's start with all these slides. You've got so many wonderful projects out here. Yeah. This is one we just completed in 2015, uh, the Hyatt Regency Waikiki. Really nice project, two towers, uh, over 100,000 square feet of glass that uh, also took about 25 years uh, to get done mm -hmm. because of uh, just change of management and ownership mm -hmm. and uh, the corporation that bought it a couple times ago back they went bankrupt and they went through another owner and <laughs> chief engineers came and went and um, so we finally got it when they were just recently bought up in 2014-15 and then we uh, were part of the big renovation that they just did every room was gutted bathrooms everything mm -hmm. in that whole double tower and, and that's the time to do it when yeah. there's workmen all over the place yeah. and the place is a mess. That that's fine. Yeah, yeah. and we came yeah. right through as the last uh, contractor, following the carpet and flooring people, and we were mm -hmm. the last ones down and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice project, and that's a quick ROI too. They're all under two years. Mm -hmm. And let's look at another slide. That's the before shot there. Ooh, yeah. I can see the the difference. And yeah. have you been able to measure uh, savings yet? Yeah, they've been saving, oh God, um, it's been 
But the, the energy analysis we did for them showed 170,000 a year saving, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. were over that. Mm -hmm. It was over that. Always good to estimate conservative. Yeah, we, we yeah. were always about 10, 15 percent below. Mm -hmm. yeah. So 100, say 180 thousand mm dollars -hmm. a year reduced utility bill. Yeah. Just good news for the owners mm -hmm. and for the, the equipment the, the too. Dwellers. Yeah. And the equipment, the yeah. equipment lasts longer and, mm -hmm. and maintenance is lower because the machine, the the, mecha the mechanical, uh, you know, equipment just yeah, doesn't it, doesn't run on full blast. Run flat out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to yet another slide here. And that's the after two. If you can flip to the one that's clear. Oh, go back one slide. That's the before. That's the modern Honolulu Hotel. Mm -hmm. And this gives you a good idea of what it looked like before. And, and this is called the modern Honolulu Hotel. And when you look at it, it doesn't look too modern. <laughs> it kind of looks like an apartment building. It looks... Um, you know, like a run-of-the-mill apartment building. Yeah, with because for one thing, all, not all, but most of the shades are down. Yeah, you got drapery, open, yeah. clothes, mm -hmm. um, so it, it really doesn't look appealing to somebody's paying five to six hundred bucks a night for those rooms for when they pull up on the outside. But when you look at the next slide, um, that one will show you a really different looking building. I mean, it, it earned its name mm -hmm. modern. When, when we got it uh, completed, they, they were so impressed with the look of the building mm -hmm. um, that it just, the, the, the savings was a bonus. They really, really liked the uh, aesthetic Ab Absolutely. Value. I mean, if you're paying top dollar for yeah. this room, you want it to look good. Yeah. It, I mean, they didn't paint the building on the outside or anything, but it looks like a totally brand new mm -hmm. looking building. It, it looks... And pro my guess is that the occupants paying mm -hmm. a lot of dollars are now much better able to enjoy the view yeah. because they don't have to pull the drapes against there's, the, there's the hot There's a few interior side. shots coming up that shows the mm -hmm. glare reduction, and that's uh, where the where the viewers will be sitting in their hotel rooms looking mm -hmm, out. Mm -hmm. um, the, yeah. the interior shots are pretty clear. And then you see and 70 to 80% glare reduction, which is that white light that uh, most people have to squint for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, we haven't even mentioned UV, ultraviolet yes. rays. Yes. If I remember correctly, your products filter out 99.9. .9. And UV is number one, the radiant energy that damages our skin, gives us uh, skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Number two, it fades carpets and mm -hmm. everything. Now, you're not going to get a whole lot of UV coming into this space. What's no, the story this here? is uh, actually Kim Taylor Reese's home, uh, mm -hmm. the photographer, local uh, celebrity photographer. He's, he's a long time man. He's oh, yeah. been shooting photos for a very long time. Um, this is his house out in Punalu area. And, um, he had so much fading on his artwork, and he doesn't mm -hmm. have any carpets, but the wood, the wood in there was fading as well. And yeah, if you can go to that next slide, I think there's a couple with the interior glare with the, the door open. You can see the film on the windows, and then there's an open spot where you can see the difference between mm -hmm. the film. Uh, well, that's Oops, that's so a, that that's a sample of uh, pressure-sensitive adhesives that go bad on some films. Um, the films that we install use CDF adhesives, and they never bubble like this. It's been around since 1975, the adhesive systems that we use, and it has never done this. And, yeah. um, I think your, your warranty is 20-something years? Uh, well, it's lifetime on residential. Lifetime, yeah. and in fact, it's transferable lifetime now, and we've never seen this happen with our, our brands. So these, these are pressure-sensitive adhesives, which um, do fail in Hawaii because of the high humidity and high heat that we have year-round. So yeah, you, when you're buying window film, look for something that has a, a crystalline adhesive, uh, they're called CDF adhesives. Uh, any adhesive that, any film that has a pressure sensitive adhesive can do this, mm -hmm. and in Hawaii, usually between five to 10 years. Wow. Okay, if we could see well, the next slide. And this one is the Honolulu Advertiser building out in Kapolei. We have to put mm -hmm. uh, seven mil clear security film on here because uh, before they could open, uh, they had a bunch of very expensive presses and machinery right behind these windows, and the insurance company said, wait, <laughs> they don't have anything to hold the, the hurricanes out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we put some uh, seven mil clear with an attachment system to keep the glass in place in case of a hurricane, just to keep the water out. And, keep, and pro probably you reduce the radiant uh, solar gain uh, too? Or? It was clear, so very little heat reduction, mm -hmm. but UV was blocked, all of the UV was blocked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. And that's just a case oh. study for the modern. You can probably go by that, we talked about that already. Mm -hmm. There's that glare shot. 
Yeah, yeah. The, and again, the whitish area that we see, that's the open window? That's the open yeah. window yeah. there, so those sliding doors are slid back a little bit, so you mm -hmm. can see the difference between the 70% the glare reduction on the Vista window film versus what it would be with no film on it with the clear glass. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing difference. And people, you know, they have a stigma about, oh, I don't want to tint my windows because I'm going to lose my view. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to darken my windows. It's, I'm going to lose my view. But when you yeah. think about it, you know, without the, the window film, you're really straining and you're not getting the true colors that the window film uh, can, can filter all, all that white light. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like putting a, a pair of Ray-Bans on your, your mm -hmm. home. You know, and, and it really cleans up the view nicely. Plus, with the glare, again, you're going to want to close your drapes yeah. during certain times of Definitely. the day. Definitely, and, and your you, TV you, screens and monitors. And, yep. and you yeah. pay, you're paying top dollar for spaces like this. And, and, and cutting the UV is one thing for mm -hmm. reducing fading, but this, the 25% of the cause of fading is, is light. Mm -hmm. So this is cutting out 70% of that light that causes fading. Okay. Okay, and if we can move to the next slide. And there's another, from, this is where your viewers would be sitting with their glass of wine watching mm -hmm. the sunrise mm -hmm. or set. Yeah. yeah. And at a certain times of the day, you can certainly open the mm -hmm. windows up, but oh, yeah. not, not when the sun's heat is coming, coming yeah. at you there. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's nice. nice. And I think we've got a couple more slides. Oh, 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 okay. This is the last of the last of the slides. Okay. So, and we've got not a whole lot of time. So, let's. Oh, let me put it. Let me wear my state energy office hat. Sure. You are causing these big buildings to reduce their energy use, which is good because that means less oil imported Definitely to the state, only. and. The air conditioning, which is not going, is also going in the early evening when there's the peak demand for electricity. Right. And when we can do something called shave that peak by doing all kinds of measures like this, we can shut down more electrical power plants, mm -hmm. which is good for us all. Definitely. And less money for oil, less money going out of the state, that money is staying here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it, it's helping to achieve our energy goal, which is the finest energy goal in the nation, 100% clean electrical energy by 2045. And we're already ahead of that goal. You know, wow. we track this year to year, and I suspect a large part of it is thanks to, to you and all these great installations. Yeah, no, and we've been hitting a lot. We've done over 35 hotels just in Waikiki. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really helping Oahu out. We've done some on Kauai, which has the highest utility cost in the country, mm -hmm. and uh, Kauai Marriott and several others out there. So yeah, the outer islands are, are more more costly to run yeah, electricity yeah, than this yeah. here, which is hard to believe because ours is pretty expensive mm -hmm. to begin with. So um, yeah, we're, we're doing our share. We're trying hard, and we keep, we yeah. keep going. We just started on the Imperial Waikiki uh, this week. Uh, well, last week is Monday already, so mm -hmm. last week we just started in Pearl Waikiki, and that's another big job. And a lot of clear let, glass. let me point out from another perspective, when people think energy savings, they think PV, photovoltaics, photovoltaics, photovoltaics. Yeah. It's all very sexy. But if you want quicker payback time and a much smoother reduction mm -hmm. of your energy use, you do efficiency measures. Yeah, insulation, primarily. window tinting, um, mm -hmm. exhaust fans, or yeah. anything yeah. you can do to yeah. get the heat out before you mm -hmm. specify the air conditioning and PV. Because, the again, uh, we have our peak demand in the early evening. Mm -hmm. What happens to the sun? Just goes before down. The, it goes down, the PV Doesn't goes help. away. Yeah, we're yeah. talking a lot about batteries, but this automatically begins to save energy from the minute mm -hmm. the sun is striking the windows. Yeah. And it, the uh, spaces do not heat up, therefore you can keep your air conditioning down low. Yeah. Or even or because use, they're cool, use you the can just winds. open the windows. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of people say they, they use their air conditioners like just in like August and September at night mm -hmm. now when it's more humid and it's yeah. hard time sleeping instead of running it during the day that they used to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's just, uh, it really is a testimony to how well it works. Yeah, and then again, people are keeping that money in their pockets and mm -hmm. be able to spend it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that, on that very cheery note, we close out. Thank you, thank you, Tommy Silva. This is Code Green for Think Tech Hawaii. See you next time.